Welcome back to the final part of casting in aqua resin, part 9, mounting and photography. Uh, thank you for watching all of the other parts, I hope you have watched all the other parts, and thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, there is a big red button on YouTube that says subscribe, or subscribe in your language, wherever you're watching this from. So please hit that button if you'd like to see more of these stuff, these videos. On the, on the other videos, I had a script that I would go by. But uh, on this one, I'm going to try and doing it without a script, so it's, uh, it's a little bit more off the cuff. And I'm not going to talk too much about what I'm doing on the video either. It's not, it's not too interesting, so I'm not going to talk too much about that. Instead, I'm going to talk uh, about a few other things. And I'm going to start off by answering a question that I've gotten in a few different places, YouTube and Instagram actually. And that is, will you be doing videos aimed at beginners at some point? And the answer to that is yes. And... Uh, I'm going to get a little bit more into that in a few minutes as I discuss the roadmap ahead. Uh, what's coming up on this channel, essentially. Uh, right now, I, I've i been living in New York for, for quite a while, and uh, but I'm about to move. I think we fly to Norway, actually, back to my parents' house on March 27th, and we're there for a week. And during that week, I have to make a mold. <laughs> in silicone and aqua resin of a sculpture that I made uh, last summer and that sculpture is going to get sold and cast in or cast in bronze then sold hopefully and so it, I need to make a mold so that's going to be the first video is mold making in silicone and aqua resin and that's probably going to come up you know beginning of April something like that then on April 4th I believe I am flying to Florence and we're moving there as I'm starting a new job as an instructor at the Florence Academy of Art teaching sculpture there and I think probably for about three weeks then I'm going to be you know getting acclimated to Florence looking for apartments and uh, well an, an apartment not plural and setting up the studio and I'll show you guys so probably I'll probably film a little bit of that as well how I set up the studio but then, on I believe April 23rd, I have a model hired for seven weeks and we're going to start a new project. Uh, this project is going to be the first major project, sculpture project, that I do on this channel, so I'm very excited about it. It's going to be a seated three-quarter life-size figure, uh, and the title of the project is King of the Rusted Crown. And I've been thinking about this project for a long time, maybe maybe a year so I'm very very excited to to finally get to it and it's kind of like my first serious project that I'm doing uh, on my own after I finished school really I've done a few things but they they're mostly kind of practice pieces practicing the technique and form but this one is kind of the, the first serious one I'll also uh, answering the question about will I be doing more videos for beginners I will I will at the same time as I'm doing the King of the Rusted Crown project, I will be sculpting a half a half life size, that's how you say that, half life size skull. And that is to kind of show how I approach the portrait and also to practice a little bit because portraiture is not something that I'm too good at, I'm not very comfortable with, I find it very difficult. And I'm also going to make that skull available for sale in whatever material you would like, plaster, resin, and or bronze if you if you if you like if you like to pay a lot of money for sculpture, I guess. Uh, the Skull Project will also be available on Patreon. Uh, you can join me on there and support me and you'll see how that works. And I'll, I'll, I'll put out more information on that once I kind of get there. Uh, the Patreon is something I've been thinking about for a while, so hopefully you, you guys will like what you see. And it's essentially, you know, you can contribute and support me with a little bit of money. And you get something in return, depending on the amount of money. For example, the Skull Project will be one of the things that you can get for supporting me. Instead of buying it out hand, if you want the Skull, that is. There are several other things as well. But, as I said, I'll get back to more on Patreon in the future. As, as, as that kind of gets closer, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys more of what that's all about. For those of you who don't already know, of course. Another question that I wanted to ask you guys, the people watching, if there is any people watching, is opinions on formats. 
And so the question is, should I put out every single day as a video on its own, or should I compress them into a week? Now there'll definitely be cutting here on these videos, but there won't be a lot. I'll show most of it. I'll probably only cut away when I step away from the project. So you'll see every single piece of clay that I put on the sculpture. And the video will be sped up. And finally, thank you for watching. I hope you watched all the videos and I hope you liked all the videos. If you did, click like and please subscribe to the channel. That helps me grow. Uh, that helps the channel grow. Uh, which is what I ultimately want, is to reach as many as possible, many people as possible, and uh, keep this noble craft of figurative sculpture alive. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.